Hello, I'm Mike Wheeler, Department Chair of Manufacturing and Welding at the College of Western Idaho. And today I want to talk to you about uh, how much does it cost to get a welding education at CWI. Um, I also want to talk about return on investment. So any anybody looking at education um, should be looking at return on investment. Uh, make no mistake, education is an investment. You are investing time, money, and effort now for potential payoffs down the road. The, the career you want, um, higher paying jobs, all that kind of stuff. So, so never forget it's an investment. Um, for me, the trades tend to be a very good investment. My history is I went, I actually went through our welding program back when it was at Boise State University. Um, back in the day, I went through, and started in 96, got out in 97. Um, Boise State University had a small technical college out front called the Selland College of Technology, and that's where I went through this welding program. Uh, when College of Western Idaho started, uh, they absorbed all those technical programs from BSU. So it's really kind of cool for me to, to be running the program that changed my life in such a, such a positive way. But um, it was an investment for me and it'll be inv an investment for you too. Um, so we're going to do some math. Um, we're going to talk about the costs associated with the education, the fees associated with the education, and then just a little bit at the end on return on investment. So uh, first off, how much does it cost to get an education at the College of Western Idaho? Well, it's pretty simple really. Every credit at the College of Western Idaho costs $139. Doesn't matter if it's an English class, a math class, a welding class, they're all the same credit cost, $139 a credit. So uh, knowing that our AAS degree is 65 credits, um, that ends up being about $9,000 in credits. Um, that doesn't tell the whole story because there's fees, which I'll talk about in a little bit too, but um, the full 65 credit AAS degree, if you're starting from zero, is about $9,000 just in credits. Um, if you've ever taken any gen ed somewhere else, if you've, if you've taken a stab at college before and you've got some of that out of the way, you won't need to retake them. Uh, we'll articulate them in, and if you, heck, if you already got your gen eds done, you'll only need our welding, um, our welding program. Uh, it'll save you some time, save you some money. Um, aside from the AS, we've also got our basic technical certificates, which are our, um, our one-year program. So the BTC-1 is the first year of our program, the BTC-2 is the second year of our program. Um, the BTC one is 26 credits, which ends up being uh, right at $3,600 uh, in credits, and the BTC two is $100 less, about about $3,300 in credits. Um, so that's just credits. Uh, fees are different. So fees are the lab fees associated with um, all the consumables that we go through in in in, in our labs. Um, as a student, you buy the credits, but you also have to pay for the material used, the steel we buy, the welding electrode, uh, cover gases, abrasives, replacement personal protective equipment for some of it, um, all that kind of stuff that goes along with, um, with what we do in the lab. And um, that's pretty easy too. Uh, every lab course we have, except for one, has a $175 SCF special course fee associated with it. Uh, the only one exception to that is the very first uh, welding lab course, which is uh, WEMF 135, which is uh, gas metal arc welding. Um, its course fee is bigger. It's $917. It's bigger because um, out of that money, we buy each student the tools they need to complete the program and get started in, in the workplace. Um, toolkit is pretty big, It's and it's all... Um, high quality stuff, uh, Miller Welding Hood, um, high quality name brand tools, uh, way more than I had when I started welding school, way more than I used in industry when I left welding school. Uh, pretty much everything you need, like I said, to complete the program and to go out and go right to work when you're done. Uh, but that's the, the big course fee at the upfront and the rest of them are $175 uh, per course. Um, what that ends up meaning is, um, Total for an AAS degree, including, uh, and this is excluding textbooks, but um, for the credits, lab fees, all that stuff, it's right around $11,000. Um, I have no idea what the textbooks cost for the gen eds. I can tell you our textbooks for welding, and there's only two you need for our entire two-year program, are probably about $400 total, probably $200 a piece. Um, for the gen eds, I have no idea. But for welding, you can add probably $400 to that. Um, for our two textbooks. Um, so really it's 
I don't know, if you look at education in America right now, I think it's a pretty good deal. Um, so return on investment. Um, so when I was in the corporate world, I ran a, a, a very large fabrication shop for a multinational corporation. Um, return on investment was everything. Uh, every decision we made was, we were calculating what our return was. And if the return wasn't, wasn't, wasn't worth it, we didn't make that decision, we didn't do that. Um, and you, you folks should all be the same way. Um, so at $11,000-ish, um, our, our average student, when they get out of our program after two years, is starting at 17, 15 to $17 an hour, 15 to $18 an hour. Um, their wage keeps going up. Uh, our, our good students that are really turned on, that are making the most of every, every day in the lab and getting better every day, they're starting in the low 20s, um, and that's locally. Uh, you can totally go out of state and make more money. It all depends on if you want to travel or not. Uh, so knowing that, an $11,000 investment, um, you can pay that off pretty quickly. Um, whether you're paying you know, out of pocket or you're financing it, and that's the other thing too is financial aid. Uh, there's a ton of financial aid available. Uh, it's everywhere, especially if you're uh, what they consider non-traditional um, to, to uh, what they call it, non-traditional to trade students. So if you're a female trying to get into the welding industry, um, there's grants, there's all kinds of stuff available um, to kind of help you get into it. Um, but welding's been a great career for me. Um, I think I said in the last video, um, pretty much every student we have that actually wants a job gets a job. Uh, there's a certain percentage of our students that don't really seem to want a job, don't really understand why they're going to college. Um, I can't help those students. Uh, the students that show up, want to get better every day, um, they've all got jobs if they want them. So, so don't worry about that. Um, I don't really have much else to say about fees. Um, if you want to know about financial aid, you can talk to, uh, to Lynn Butte, our student success advisor. But the, the real people to talk to about that would be One Stop. They've got the financial aid gurus in there. Um, you talk to them, they'll be able to connect you with the right person, whether you're VA, non-traditional, regular student, whatever. Um, they'll be able to help you out. Um, you can either see them in person at a Micron building or reach out to them online or just give them a call. Uh, they're all real helpful. Um, they all, they're all here trying to help you get into college. So um, if you have any questions, uh, you can email me at mikewheeler at cwi.edu. And otherwise, uh, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.